Hey, good afternoon. This is Dave from Phoenix Fruit Farm. I uh, guess in my one flint corn processing uh, video, I mentioned that I might make a video on making uh, the cornbread that we like, and so that's what this is all about. And we're just going to get started here. Um, you need to preheat your oven up to 400. I'm not sure if I got my head cut off here because I don't have a tall enough tripod, but whatever. I'm not the important part. So anyway, you start out with a 400 degree oven. Um, it takes a half cup. You do your dry ingredients in a larger bowl. A half a cup of uh, all-purpose flour. It takes a teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. Two teaspoons of baking powder. And then you need a cup and a half. I just use the old cup and a half of cornmeal. I use the old scoop and level method. We have a cup there. Let me get my half cup measure here. So that's pretty much your dry ingredients. So I always like to do the dry ingredients first because I use my whisk to try to get everything uh, kind of evenly distributed in here. And then when I'm done, I can do the wet ingredients and I don't have to, you know, if I did the wet ingredients, I'd probably have to go wash and dry the whisk. Well, now I don't have to. So we got that part done. So anyway, the wet ingredients, uh, I forgot my eggs. Is takes two eggs. You know, when I got this recipe, it says two eggs, room temperature, and a cup of buttermilk, room temperature. But I uh, do not. I have never really bothered with that, and it works perfectly without. So you get your two eggs. Takes a third of a cup of honey. I usually spray this pan a little bit so the honey don't hang up in it too bad, but I can scrape it out with my spatula anyway. Uh, uh, takes a quarter cup of vegetable oil. We use sunflower oil, some unfiltered sunflower oil, because it's supposed to be pretty good for you, I guess. And then a cup of buttermilk, which we add. Not that. Now we're going to take the whisk and we're going to get all that put together. Get the wet stuff done here. Fix it up good, you know. You know, you want to try to get the oil and everything mixed in good. That does a pretty good job. And then we're going to take, of course, add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients. Get everything out so I get my little spatula to work here. There we go. We'll set that aside. And I just will mix it. You don't you don't want to like beat this or anything. You just mix it up until all the ingredients are are wet. You know, you don't want any dry flour hanging out in the bottom of the bowl or anything. Uh, so we just take and mix it. Lightly, you know, kind of more of a folding action than a mixing action, actually, just to get things where it belongs. Make sure you're scraping the bottom of the bowl out good to get the dry stuff that's down on the bottom. Yeah, it looks like we've got it pretty good. Now, what I usually bake it in, you can you can bake it in a, like a nine-inch square pan, glass pan, or something like that. Uh, what we generally do is use, if you have a nice well-seasoned cast iron skillet like this, you can bake it in there. Uh, that's what we always do. Actually, I'm going to spray this though. I didn't do it yet because I wanted to show you the nicely seasoned pan. We're going to do that. We well, threw that over the sink so you don't get spray all over the floor. Okay. Get 
get all the good stuff right out of here. We'll leave half of it in the bowl. I like cornbread a couple different ways. I like it hot right out of the oven. You know, well, you're supposed to let it set a few minutes after it gets out of the oven. That kind of helps it keep, uh, finish the baking, I guess. Anyway, get her in there, get it spread out in your pan a little bit here. Flatten her out good. Okay. Then, we're going to put it right on the center rack in a 400 degree oven. And we're going to leave it in there for generally, it says 20-25 minutes, generally 20 minutes will do it. And uh, so we'll do that and then we'll come on back. All right, we're back. It's been uh, 25 minutes and um, as you can see, the cornbread is uh, very golden brown. I probably could have did it in 20 minutes. I did the tooth, toothpick test, you know, on it. Uh, came out clean, so we're going to call it done. And then you're supposed to leave it set 10 minutes, which I did. And now what we're going to do is we're going to cut it. I usually use the edge of the spatula like this, or the turner, I should call it. And then uh, make a couple of cuts across. I uh, did see on some place, I don't know if it was YouTube or where, but where they were recommending that you preheat the skillet, and I'm really not, really not quite sure why you do that. But uh, because it, this always turns out perfectly the way it is, um, and we'll talk a little bit. That cooking spray I use is probably a vegetable spray like that way better than probably using butter because you might get a get your crust a little too much done if you use butter. Now let's see, we we'll take a piece out here. Okay. Looks pretty good. We're gonna flop her right down there. Move this out of the way a little bit. And uh, the two things I like the most here is butter. <laughs> I like this stuff hot. You know, I, I like it cold too. I eat it last times in the morning when I have coffee in the morning. I'll, and that's what I'll have tomorrow morning probably. Anyway, you know, put a little butter on it while it's nice and hot. Get that on there. Everything is better with butter. Yeah, and then we take a little honey, get that on there, yeah, like that. And then, you know, of course, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to eat it. Uh, so. We're going to say goodbye because I'm going to be busy. So uh, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you like. Dave from Phoenix Fruit Farm. So long.